Overcoming evil with good is a concept rooted in various philosophical, religious, and ethical traditions. It reflects the idea that responding to negative actions or harmful behaviors with positive and virtuous actions is a powerful and transformative approach. Here's a closer look at the meaning and benefits of overcoming evil with good. Meaning. Non-retaliation. The concept involves refraining from responding to harm or wrongdoing with a similar negative or harmful action. Instead, it promotes responding with kindness, compassion, and positive actions. Promotion of virtues. Overcoming evil with good encourages. The practice of virtues such as love, compassion, forgiveness, and understanding. It emphasizes the transformative power of positive qualities in the face of negativity. Breaking the cycle. The idea is to break the cycle of violence, revenge, or hostility. By responding to negativity with goodness, individuals aim to interrupt the perpetuation of harm and promote a more positive trajectory. Moral and ethical principle. It is often considered a moral and ethical principle present in various religious teachings, moral philosophies, and ethical frameworks. It aligns with the idea that responding to hate or harm with love and goodness is a higher moral ground. Benefits Promotes Healing Responding with good can contribute to the healing of wounds, whether on an individual or societal level. It allows for the possibility of reconciliation and rebuilding relationships. Enhances personal well-being. Choosing positive actions in the face of adversity can lead to enhanced personal well-being. It prevents the negative impact of holding on to anger, resentment, or the desire for revenge. Cultivates empathy. Responding with goodness requires understanding the perspectives and motivations of those who may have acted negatively. This cultivation of empathy contributes to a deeper understanding of human nature. Strengthens moral character. Overcoming evil with good is seen as a demonstration of moral strength and character. It requires discipline, self-control, and a commitment to one's values encourages positive change. Responding positively to negativity has the potential to inspire positive change in others. Acts of kindness and goodness can serve as role models, encouraging others to follow a similar path. Builds bridges. Choosing goodness over retaliation builds bridges between individuals and communities. It fosters a sense of unity and cooperation rather than perpetuating division and conflict. Promotes peaceful coexistence. The practice of responding with good contributes to the promotion of peaceful coexistence. It shifts the focus from hostility to collaboration, fostering a more harmonious environment. Sets a positive example. Responding to evil with good sets a positive example for others. It demonstrates that it is possible to choose a higher moral ground and inspire positive change even in challenging circumstances. Creates a positive ripple effect. Acts of goodness have the potential to create a positive ripple effect. The positive energy generated by overcoming evil with good can spread and influence others, contributing to a more positive and compassionate society. Aligns with spiritual teachings. Many spiritual and religious traditions emphasize the importance of responding to negativity with love and compassion. Practicing this principle aligns with the teachings of forgiveness and kindness. While overcoming evil with good is a noble and virtuous concept, it's essential to recognize that it may not be applicable in every situation and there are complex circumstances where additional considerations are necessary. However, as a general principle, choosing goodness over retaliation is a powerful way to contribute to personal growth, societal harmony, and positive transformation. Moral character refers to the qualities and traits that define an individual's ethical and moral behavior. 
It reflects a person's commitment to principles and values that guide their actions, decisions, and interactions with others. Developing strong moral character involves cultivating virtues such as integrity, honesty, responsibility, compassion, and fairness. Here are key aspects of moral character. 1. Virtues and Values Definition Moral character is closely tied to the virtues and values an individual holds dear. Example Virtues Integrity Being honest and consistent in actions Compassion Showing empathy and kindness to others Responsibility Taking ownership of one's actions and obligations Fairness Treating others justly and impartially. Courage, facing challenges with strength and bravery. 2. Consistency in behavior. Definition. Moral character is evident in the consistent application of ethical principles in various aspects of life. Example. A person with strong moral character consistently demonstrates honesty, even in situations where dishonesty might seem advantageous. 3. Adherence to principles. Definition. Moral character involves a commitment to ethical principles, even in the face of challenges or temptations. Example. Adhering to the principle of honesty, even when it might lead to personal inconvenience. 4. Integrity. Definition. Integrity is a central aspect of moral character, involving honesty, sincerity, and a strong sense of ethics. Example, a person with integrity keeps their promises, admits mistakes, and acts consistently with their values. 5. Empathy and Compassion Definition, moral character includes the capacity for empathy and compassion toward others. Example, a person with strong moral character demonstrates kindness and understanding, seeking to alleviate the suffering of others. 6. Resilience in the face of challenges. Definition. Moral character is revealed in how individuals respond to adversity and challenges. Example. Demonstrating resilience and ethical behavior, even in difficult situations, showcases a strong moral character. 7. Humility. Definition. Humility is an important aspect of moral character involving an acknowledgement of one's imperfections and a willingness to learn and grow. Example. A humble person is open to feedback, admits mistakes, and continuously seeks self-improvement. 8. Accountability. Definition. Moral character includes taking responsibility for one's actions and being accountable for the consequences. Example, a person with strong moral character owns up to their mistakes and works towards making amends. 9. Considers the well-being of others. Definition. Moral character involves considering the impact of one's actions on the well-being of others. Example. Making decisions that prioritize the welfare of others, even when personal interests are at stake. Developing and maintaining strong moral character is an ongoing process that requires self-reflection, self-discipline, and a commitment to ethical principles. It plays a crucial role in shaping individuals' interactions with others and contributes to the overall well-being of individuals and communities. Moral resilience refers to the capacity of individuals to sustain their moral and ethical integrity in the face of moral distress, adversity, or challenging situations. It involves the ability to navigate morally complex circumstances, make ethically sound decisions, and maintain a sense of moral integrity even when faced with conflicting values or pressures. Here are key aspects of moral resilience. 1. Definition. Moral resilience. The ability to withstand and rebound from moral challenges, ethical dilemmas, or situations that may compromise one's values, principles, or integrity. 2. Moral distress. Definition. 
Moral distress occurs when individuals recognize the morally right course of action, but face obstacles preventing them from following that course. Role in moral resilience. Moral resilience involves coping with and overcoming moral distress without succumbing to compromising one's moral values. 3. Adherence to principles. Definition. Moral resilience involves a steadfast commitment to moral principles and ethical standards, even in the face of adversity. Example, choosing to uphold honesty and integrity despite external pressures to act otherwise. Four, navigating ethical dilemmas. Definition, moral resilience includes the ability to navigate through ethical dilemmas, making decisions that align with one's moral compass. Example, balancing conflicting ethical considerations and choosing the option that aligns with overarching moral principles. Five, maintaining integrity. Definition. Moral resilience is characterized by the maintenance of personal and professional integrity in challenging situations. Example, upholding ethical standards and professional codes of conduct even when it may be easier to compromise. 6. Adaptability. Definition. Moral resilience involves the ability to adapt to changing circumstances while staying true to one's moral convictions. Example. Adjusting ethical strategies in response to evolving situations without compromising core values. 7. Coping with ambiguity. Definition. Moral resilience includes the capacity to cope with moral ambiguity and uncertainty. Example, making decisions when faced with incomplete information or when multiple ethical perspectives are valid. 8. Seeking support. Definition. Moral resilience involves recognizing when support is needed and seeking guidance from trusted colleagues, mentors, or ethical frameworks. Example. Consulting with peers or mentors to navigate complex ethical issues and gain different perspectives. 9. Reflective practice. Definition. Moral resilience requires regular self-reflection to understand one's values, biases, and the impact of decisions on oneself and others. Example. Engaging in reflective practices to continuously refine one's ethical approach and response to moral challenges. To moral